So as you can see, Amber just brought her brand new Tesla Model Y home. And within 24 hours, the very first thing you want to do is wash it. And here's why. So from the factory, there's going to be a couple different scratches. There's going to be little smudges. There's going to be things on your car. And you have 24 hours to notify Tesla about them or start creating a paper trail. And how you do that is you go into your Tesla app, go down to the service tab, and you simply make a report of those scratches or whatever defects that you want fixed. Now, you don't have to get them fixed in the first 24 hours, but you got to get them noted so that they will be fixed when you decide to take it back in. So first up today, we're going to be washing the car. And here's what we're going to be using. So on our way home, we made a pit stop and we picked up, you want to wash your car with microfiber, sponges, cloths, whatever you want to use is fine, as long as it's microfiber. And then, since I have a black car, probably any color, but more particularly on black, you want to get a... Chamois. A chamois towel, essentially. So you want to erase all those water droplets. You don't want those sitting on your car and drying and then leaving those annoying little marks everywhere. So microfiber sponges and a chamois. So now that we've got it all nice washed up and clean, now is when you really want to finally look over your car to make sure that there's no flaws or imperfections that you cannot live with. There are a few fine scratches here, but that might be something that I'm okay with. All right, so we found two different spots that we want to document. We're not necessarily going to schedule an appointment yet to go back into Tesla. We're just going to document them right now within the first 24 hours, which is super key, so that we can make that decision later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to the service app. I'm going to go in here to request service. I'm guessing it's going to be exterior. I'm going to go to something else and hit done. And then you can just type in and add photos of whatever it is you want to document. So I'm going to type, I'll just, yeah, I'll just say, okay, I guess I'll just say car scratches from delivery. So now that we finished looking over the car for any kind of scratches, we also want to take a look at the panels and make sure that there are no alignment issues or any other defects. It's not that big of an issue with recent, more modern cars as it was, but what you're looking at are things like this to make sure there's not any weird gaps. You make sure everything is just kind of lined up together. And this car is pretty much flawless. You used to see things like right here where this would be like way higher than this one where that's pretty flat. You used to always see things where this had a gap there and then this was like super narrow like touching and so the gaps just weren't very even. Even this one isn't perfect but it is certainly nothing to complain about. And the only reason this even matters is, well, cosmetically, obviously, but also because of the seals. You want the seals to work properly, and if it's too far off, that can become an issue. And speaking of seals, one thing I'll point out, too, is you can see here in the tail light here, there's these holes right here, one in each of them, and they're in all the different headlights and tail lights. That is supposed to be there. That is to help with the moisture issue. You'll notice when you come out to your car, there'll be moisture in it in the mornings. This just helps get rid of that a little quicker. And that's it. So when you first bring your car home, right off the bat, I mean, there's a lot of things to do first when you bring your car home, but right off the bat, one thing you want to make sure you do in the first 24 hours is inspect your car for any kind of scratches, dents, alignment issues, anything like that. It's very critical in the first 24 hours, as Tesla states, that you document those things, get it on paper. Don't write it down, but actually go into the Tesla app and record it, report it, so that if you do decide you want to get them fixed, they can't say to you, hey, you did that yourself, but it'll be documented and you'll be safe. That's going to be it for this one. Now remember, we've got a whole bunch coming up here, profiles, keys, everything you can possibly imagine on this channel for how-tos, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll know when those videos come up.